Well, Sweden is the outlier, I would say. It's the one country that I know about in Western democracies where we haven't had a shutdown of society. We haven't closed the borders, shut down restaurants, businesses, uh, gyms, public transportation. There's no stay at home order in place. The one more important restriction is that public events with more than 50 people is not allowed in Sweden for the moment. But apart from that, most of it is based on voluntary social distancing. We are recommended to don't go to work if you don't have to, don't travel if you don't have to, and so on. And it seems, according to mobility data, that um, most Swedes have changed their behavior quite uh, dramatically. And, uh, well, the latest uh, in terms of, of COVID-19 is that it seems like we're now past the peak in Sweden. The number of people in um, intensive care has been, the new arrivals in intensive care has been actually been stable for almost two months in Sweden. So it's always been a fairly stable situation without the kind of exponential growth that people talked about. And now, since the last two weeks, we've also seen an absolute decline in people in intensive care and the number of deaths is slowly declining. So with some luck, we are getting past this and we attain more of immunity so that society can get back to everyday life and uh, the elderly can go back into normal life sooner than in other places.